severe weather alert. All right, serious microbursts now moving through the city of Lafayette and West Lafayette right now. We had a wind gust of 75 miles per hour here at the television station. It almost became dangerous for us to be on air with all that lightning around. Let's go to Live Doppler 18 and look at the velocity data. Again, this is a microburst, folks. Winds gusting 70, 80 miles per hour at least. A lot of trees are going to be down. A lot of power lines are going to be down. And there's going to be just a just some massive power outages because we've taken winds gusting to hurricane force and we're still getting winds gusting to near hurricane force here at the tv station let's track this microburst right now again it's especially dangerous situation because we have got thousands of people in downtown lafayette right now at dancing in the streets and that microburst looking at it from a radar standpoint is now moving over downtown lafayette you can see the wind fields here, very strong winds blowing away from the radar side over the city of Lafayette, very strong winds blowing outward. Where you see those bright reds and bright greens together, that's a microburst, and that's moving right over the city of Lafayette and West Lafayette right now, producing winds easily 70 to 80 miles an hour. Again, we took a wind gust here of 75. That was about four minutes ago, and this is moving due south. And we're still getting very, very strong winds. So I would suspect some pretty substantial damage from this storm as it's moving due south right now. Let's go to precision right now. Well, let's put a storm track on this because obviously there, there are not very many storms out there. We've got basically two storms going through the area now on an old lake breeze front that's, that has popped through the cap. And this is moving due south. Again, we're getting the damaging winds right now, gusting to hurricane force in Lafayette, and it's moving due south. So I tell you what, if you live south of Lafayette right now, get ready. This is a pretty monstrous storm dropping due south at around 20 miles per hour. There you see some of the, the places of, of uh, when the storm will get there. Dayton here in about three minutes. Altamont Switch here in four minutes. Towards Wyandotte in about seven minutes. So uh, if you're in the southern part of the county, central part of the county, it's got a long history of producing damaging winds. But again, it's very isolated. It's, it's really cut off from anything. But one thing that happened today was we were capped all afternoon. You had this little lake breeze front come in from the north. And right at the intersection of the lake breeze front and an old outflow boundary from Iowa, that's where we had this very strong storm develop. And it's got all the moisture and energy to tap into and feed on here. Uh, and it's, it's using that to produce these very, very strong winds. Uh, the winds are starting to slack off now here at the TV station after that very, very strong wind gust. But still looking at this from a radar standpoint, if we could go back to Live Doppler 18, still from a radar standpoint, uh, it's putting out damaging winds, uh, likely in excess 70, 80 miles an hour. And uh, so if you're in the central and southern parts of the county, again, uh, this storm does mean business, and it's moving through an area where there are a lot of people right now in downtown Lafayette. And I'm looking at our anemometer now. We're still taking wind gusts over 30, 40 miles an hour at times with this storm. And our temperature has dropped from the lower 90s. We are now down to 65 degrees. So some very dry air is feeding these very strong downdrafts, and that's why we've got this microburst that appears to have moved through West Lafayette and Lafayette here in the past 10 to 15 minutes. Very strong winds, winds gusting uh, to hurricane force here at the TV station. I would like to regroup a little bit here. Um, I'm going to regroup with production and we're going to get an idea of damage reports. Okay, uh, I'm going to give you another 20 or 30 seconds here. Again, I want to reiterate, let's put the warnings up on the screen. Uh, we've got severe thunderstorm warning in effect for Tippecanoe County until 745. Far, far southwest Carroll County until 637 until 745 for Clinton County. But boy, uh, right now the main area of danger, main area of concern is in West Lafayette and Lafayette. Headed southward towards Dayton, easily winds gusting to hurricane force with a microburst. Again, I, it looks like we did take a hit with a microburst here at the TV station moving south. So if you're in central southern Tippecanoe County right now, be aware this could produce a, a microburst, a burst of very strong hurricane force winds 
at any time. All right, I'm going to regroup here. I need to reset my computers because obviously they're stuck from some of the lightning we've had and we'll have new information as it becomes available. This is a live Doppler 18 severe weather alert.